the Empire State Building. <laughs> I, I'm living in London now, by the way. I'm not in Wales anymore, so a lot has changed. I've been working really hard to make this space nice, so I've got my zebra knits. The same, <coughs> sorry, bed spread as I did in Wales. I've got a little plant, I've got my hay crates with all my stuff under my bed. There's like lovely foliage sort of all over the house. My little David Perry coaster with all the rings on it, my lamp. This is one of my recent creations. Ugh. I'm just having a nice coffee. My room is giant as well. It's such a change from my room in Wales and it's equally as stunning. I had this little car arrive yesterday and I love it so much. I've been trying to keep it really organized. And then this is my workspace. I've got this little jigsaw thing which matches perfectly. And then this is what I've been up to recently. I've got this little weapon print one some oil spill and some this like zebra one down here i need to paint this vase and then today i think i'm gonna do something kind of special yeah because the last drop that i did actually went really well and i've been noticing there is a big disparity between how good my work is in wales and in london drops seem to be consistently better when i'm in wales and i guess that's i have my own kiln i'm more willing to experiment because i know that it's gonna work yeah so i'm gonna do a little update whilst i start painting this vase. I'm using a kiln hire in London. I thought it was gonna be a lot more expensive than it was. It's actually more like 50 pounds per firing. And the one I'm using is so, so close to my house, which is really handy. So it's only working out at about 100 pounds per drop in terms of kiln costs, which is obviously not as cheap as it is in Wales when I'm using my own kiln, but it's not that bad. Like I thought it was gonna be so much worse. So at the moment I'm just painting it white. I think I'm gonna do like the blue and white hibiscus. That's like one of my favorite mugs of all time. I thought that one was gorge. But yeah, I moved to London quite a while ago now. It was, I think I've been in this house for two months. I've been back and forth to Wales quite a lot though over the course of summer because when it's really sunny, I'm just, I wanna be able to beach. Um, so like that's been nice as well and yeah the drops I've done in Wales have been kind of better but I think it's because of ironing out the kinks a little bit with uh, working from home here. <laughs> I did not enjoy London that much last time I was here and actually I did get quite depressed and, but this time around I think I've been doing a bit better with at least I feel like I can vocalise if I'm feeling bad. I think things are on the up now. I mean I'm going back to uni two or three weeks which is insane because I started off my whole social media thing with this is me trying to start a ceramics business on my year out and I'm not on my year out in three weeks I'm going back to art school which is why I'm in London if you didn't know. The day before yesterday I actually went to Slade, which was so strange. I went to see the summer show and it was so weird being back in the uni building. I am so excited. So that's kind of crazy. It's been really nice living with my friends. I haven't really had much opportunity to live with friends before, so this is no experience. But yeah, I guess I was kind of struggling for a bit there because like I am obviously working from home, but it's in a way where I'm self-employed, so I don't see anybody and I just don't really leave the house. It was a lot easier to work from home in Wales. Like I didn't really, I guess in London so much is going on. At least in Wales, I had like a different room to work in, whereas here it's literally my bedroom. I've joined a really nice bougie gym. So that's been giving me a real reason to leave the house. I love exercising and it does wonders for my mental health, but I've never actually really enjoyed it. I enjoy the aftermath. I've been weightlifting and stuff and I love it. Like, yeah a great reason for me to leave the house. So just adding structure. I think you can't just move to London lightheartedly. You definitely need to move here with a purpose, even if that is just something simple. Otherwise, London can just get the best of you. It's a massive city, but it's actually really lonely. And I, I think I have been kind of like struggling in that respect. There's a lot to deal with, but I think I'll be a lot better when I'm back in uni. But then what am I up to today? I'm just gonna be doing some work. And then my friend Eloise is coming down to visit from Wales. Tomorrow I'm going to Proud. I have housemate hosts so we get free drinks which is pretty nice have to dress up nice 
yeah that's a great time so i'm doing that tomorrow sunday i think we're gonna go to the pub but like it's always a fun time at the pub i think that's an issue but like i feel like it looks like i've been having a lot of fun on social media which i have i guess i've been a bit of a roller coaster in the way where i'm having the best time on the weekends around my friends but then i was really struggling in the day times even if you are not ready for the day it cannot always be and i think it's because i was like kind of struggling with big jugs a bit and what's next and wasn't really finding it very fulfilling at that point and i think you can go out and have as much fun at night as you want but if your days aren't very fulfilling then something's off because i was really just having the best time on the weekends but monday to wednesday i was just kind of sat in my room lying in bed looking at my desk not really wanting to get out of bed and feeling quite alone during the weekdays structure i've started really severely planning my days i can't really not do things and just really scheduling my time and i've started trying to put myself first i think that might be one of my problems is I give a lot to other people or like a lot of energy to other people. I'm so excited to have a space to work in that's not in my bedroom. As cute as I've made this all look, I think there is something to be said for having a space that is not in your living space. That work-life divide is really necessary. That was something I loved a lot about having that studio that I was working in last year. And a lot of people comment on that since I've moved being like, oh my God, what was that? She was so lucky. And yeah, I really was, but um, that was just lent to me by the people at the restaurant that I used to work at. So they were just letting me use that space while I was still working there. Which I'm very grateful for and was just a fab period to be honest. I was so productive when I had that lovely split and I would have to drive over there to go work, which sounds like it would take up more time, but actually when you have that nice work-life split, I feel like you just are a lot more productive, which is why I'm so fucking excited to have the studios back and the studios are gorgeous. I can already picture how I'm gonna set it up. <laughs> so that'll be really nice. I think my friend Eloise is gonna be getting here quite late anyway. So we're just gonna be having a chill one. There's Eloise. We're Hi. gonna get a delivery, I think. I went to the gym. Eloise got here. We were meant to do something, but we're too tired. Oh, okay, Jesus. Oh. Sorry about race boy outside, but. There's Jennifer. <laughs> Only back then we were tight. Sisters practically. What's up, Vagisil? You and me are going out tonight. Hi. I don't know what you're doing while you're watching this video, but if you've got it on like a podcast in the background at the moment, that's perfectly fine. But I urge you to watch this next clip because it's of Astrid headbanging to examples love kick starts again so hard that she falls over. I think it's quite funny. <laughs> And there she is, my little iPad baby. I've been forgetting to film because my storage was like, no. But I'm doing firing today. I need to drop all this off by 7pm. It's all over on the floor. There's it all packed up over there. It's looking super gorgeous today. I'm working on this rugby inspired mug at the moment. And then I've got this big vase. That was the one I was working on. And I've finished this spaghetti and meatball mug, which I think is super cute. Astrid really doesn't like it. I should be so hungover, but I feel kind of all right. So I'm just gonna try finish this. And then I have five other things to paint. And I'm just gonna watch Nomad Land. It's seven and I'm carrying my stuff to the kill yeah. It's such a pretty evening. I'm always a bit stressed at this point and so scared I'm going to drop it. I've just dropped the first load over and now I just need to take the bus there. A warning. It's a bit messy though. Stuff like warnings and stuff and then I just do the drops and then <laughs> people are like not ready for them. What's happening? I've been crazy today. Oh, I've just covered them. 
damn it, I forgot to film it before I covered them. Just made this, which is like a cat candle and incense holder. And then this vase, I'm covering them because for some reason, everything in my London room dries so much faster. I've done this very impractical mug, which has like holes. Um, I've come up with this weird idea for like, and then this spiky mug, which I stayed up till like two last night doing. That one looks fab, but it's drying way too fast. I'm really moving mad tonight, girlies. I'm making some panko chicken with, um, I think it's called like pine lamb katsu. I should double check that, but I love cooking. So I'm having quite a nice time and I'm making sticky rice with uh, like mirin and stuff in and now I'm gonna make some pickled ginger. Yeah, just having fun. Yeah, I had a really lovely day yesterday. I um, made some panko chicken and I stayed up working really late. I dropped off all my stuff at the kiln hire. I need to go in tomorrow to glazing at the studio. I'll probably finish this video at the end of this drop and do like my London drop process. But my friend Eloise is in London this weekend. I've kind of got, I've kind of ended up with more spare time than I thought I would. So um, that's been kind of good because I've been really on it today. For some reason, everything in London is just drying like three times faster. I keep having to cover stuff to stop it cracking. It's spiky mug specifically looks like it's going to be very prone to cracking on spike i love this set so much and then my bag is from sporty and rich i'm going to be doing lower body today i actually way prefer doing upper body because i prefer the way it makes you sore i'm kind of fine if my arms are sore but something about having sore legs the next day always makes me want to cry so Very pretty. Is the text still the wrong way round? No. I feel kind of drunk. Two bimbos in the lift. <laughs> what will they learn? <laughs> Yeehaw! What? 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 I met Diana Vickers in the smoking area the other day. I forgot to put that in the vlog. <laughs> Walked like that the whole way. Come on, I might actually go. Was she an X-Factor? Yeah, she was. Did she win? No, I don't think so. Diana Vickers? Yeah. I'm only gonna let you go. Oh no, we gotta go. I'm having the most gorgeous sandwich ever in my garden. The panko chicken I made the other day, sun-dried tomato. I made some guac, I made some garlic mayo, and it's got sun-dried tomatoes in it as well. So it's stunning. I've just been editing the first half of this video. And then I'm going to glaze everything at 4 p.m. And um, I think Ellie's here on Sunday, but we might go out tonight, but I'm feeling a bit under the weather, so. Um, might not do that. The video is looking pretty good. I'm excited to glaze stuff, but it always like knocks me out. I was meant to go to an exhibition tonight. I just realized by looking at my other vlogs that it looks like all I wear is this purple jumper, but it's because it's my like getting messy jumper because it's just a sweatshirt. I can like clean it easily, but I do own lots of great clothes, I swear. Just got back from glazing. I'm editing this video and I just had some pasta. Um, I'm meant to be going to a house party later. I was feeling really ill, but I had a Red Bull and I kind of feel fine. And I'm going to have a nap after I've done a bit more of this. Yeah, I'm going to do some editing and then I'm going to have a nap. Yeah, so I think we're going to a house party. Um, but I'm doing a tattoo tomorrow, so I can't go too crazy. Happy and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> No, do not take a picture of me. It's for my vlog. <laughs> no, you don't. You're ready for the JLS concert. Shut up. <laughs> not easy. I, I was vlogging, not getting a TikTok there, this time. Oh. So <laughs> I, I'm just um, taking up a top. And I'm going to have a Welcome to Penny. Astrid's like, and I'm serving. No cameras. No ca <laughs> Morgan de Toi. Yeah. Oh, my, are you, what are you wearing? Where's your horse? Morgan de Toi. <laughs> my horse is in camp. <laughs> 
Ashid called me her prettiest friend earlier and it's so <laughs> Did you say that? <laughs> the interrogator of mine to me feel better about myself. Ashley, were you telling the truth? <laughs> because well, oh, everyone's no. pretty in different ways. It's like, Bye, Ashley, do not take it back, you <laughs> No, okay, but Billy, okay, so I didn't. She was in the my... <laughs> <laughs> I feel she was like in my house and she wanted a cup of tea and she was like, you're the prettiest friend I've ever had. I was like, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Welcome to Venice. Let's get to the party. I need a drink. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Where are we going? Billy, there's just one thing that got me to yeah. think. Yeah. Come, Come on. on. Where's the lyrics? Well done. Are you, I'm are here. you coming to the tree? <laughs> Many here, no stranger would it be. They strung up a man. What part of it? <laughs> you should be ashamed. It's, it's giving out. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving out. Harry would bring someone with that. I'll be the back. Absolutely correct. <laughs> no, the back is better. I don't like it. Oh, I don't know why it's got the flash on. She is in disguise. Oh my god, I could so do it. Yeah, I like this place. Should we try and get Gina to come down? This weekend, I think it's like Gina. Why is it only Georgina? Because she'll be in there. Just to see Ryan. Yeah, good. Billy! I'm tired of you sucking dick, Astrid. Sucking dick, I don't. Astrid, did you serve chicken? <laughs> what Leave faction would you be in? <laughs> Your mum's I would be in the smart one because I'm a clever girl. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie would be in. I would be factionless. Let's be I think honest. you'd be in That's dauntless cool, yeah. with that haircut. <laughs> I think you. You ride this horse? Voice. <laughs> <laughs> the next one. I'm sorry, I'm in a silly goofy mood. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Monday. I think we should go to the club. <laughs> club. <laughs> We're about to go to the Rio. We're gonna go watch the new Adam Driver movie. It's a French one. Just went to collect the um, firing and it's come out so good. Um, I'm gonna put some clips up of it, but um, yeah. <laughs> My laptop's just broken and I start uni next week and I've got a drop to do. So uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to finish this vlog. Just talking to my crystals right now. Um, I'm gonna go try drop it off at the Mac Bear store. Um, mm, it's just annoying because all the money I've earned is probably gonna go on this laptop now. But oh my god, I really wanted a new pair of shoes. I'm not just getting ready random and treat them out. Empire State Building, so crazy. Thank you. No? Oh. I don't. <laughs> 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 the vlog I was doing got completely derailed because um, I still were there all over my laptop as it's included. Um, and it just won't turn on anymore, so it's at the store getting fixed. At the moment I'm packing the drop, I think I forgot to get that many clips of the mugs themselves, but um, it went really well, it's all sold apart from one of them. And um, 
yeah, I guess I'm gonna end it there. I mean, I'm gonna take this all to the post office. And this morning I got a really good message from a big brand about working with them, which I'm very excited for. But yeah, I'm not sure when this vlog is gonna end up getting edited because I broke my laptop. So, and if I add this vlog's already ended up being like two weeks long. So 